Hi folks, this is a video tutorial that will show you how to restore a system to a system rescue CD snapshot. The snapshot is taken with part image software that comes on the system rescue CD package of software. Uh, we're actually going to use that part image software to do the restore that, that we're going to demonstrate. What was previously done before this video and shown on another video was the creation of the snapshot of two partitions on a laptop. We are going to use the two previously created partitions to demonstrate how easy it is to restore a machine and operating system back to its original or a known good state. Okay? Okay, I have a laptop booted and I'm actually going to log remotely into the laptop. I booted the laptop with System Rescue CD. You download the software uh, from the systemrescuecd.org site and then you just put the CD into the CD drive. This was a Dell computer. You boot it, you press F12 and tell it to boot from the CD. When the CD boots, you just keep pressing Enter until you get a uh, prompt that you'll see shortly. And so we're going to log in remotely, as I mentioned, partly so we can get a nice video here. And that is the IP address of the laptop. And Clear that out. There we go. We'll try this again. What happened there was uh, when I had been in previously, um, logging in remotely, it had passed me a different uh, public key. And uh, there was a public key conflict that I just cleared up real quickly. Okay, so now we're in uh, to the uh, laptop you can see by that green and red prompt down there that you would see if you just booted straight off the CD you'd see the same prompt so what we're going to do is take a look at what the disk looks like with an F disk dash L slash dev slash SDA uh, the, that slash dev slash SDA refers to the uh, primary hard drive and it tells us there's three partitions um, the first partition, that's the uh, Windows 7 system partition that it likes to create when you install Windows 7. The second partition is the Windows 7 partition. It holds all the programs and data. And the last partition is a little partition that holds <coughs> excuse me, the snapshots that we did using System Rescue CD. Uh, we want to mount the slash dev slash SDA3 partition. So what we'll do is we'll make a directory and we'll call it slash a and then we'll mount the slash dev slash sda3 onto slash a. If we do a change directory into slash a, there's a directory that I made when I created the partitions called win7image that holds all of our stuff. And here we can see that uh, we have uh, two partitions that we imaged um, and the, the first file that was created from that image was sda1-win7-system-partition.000 uh, and then there's a set of uh, six files sda2-windows7.000 through 005. Um, so those are the, those are the uh, files that we're going to actually put back onto the uh, partitions and restore the partitions to. And the way that we uh, do this is we're going to type part image okay now I know it's dash a dash win 7 image slash uh, SDA1 because we're going to uh, what I did was the SDA1 was highlighted up there on the top 
And so I hit the tab key and came down to where it said image file to create or use. And I typed in the uh, directory path slash a slash win7 image. And then the file name uh, will be sda1 dash win7 dash system dash partition dot zero 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 and what we want to do is we actually want to restore the uh, the partition from the image file we created earlier so we'll use the arrow key and then you hit the space bar and that will give you that asterisk in the second uh, inside <coughs> inside the second prints uh, we did not encrypt anything and we'll hit next it comes up and gives us a description of what we when we created it we put a little description in there and Windows 7 system partition that's good and then everything on this screen looks good uh, it's going to when it finishes it's going to uh, wait with an OK prompt so we'll hit F5 to continue and we always get this little message about NTFS support is experimental we know that okay now we'll hit the tab key and go to the OK it's going to tell us what it's going to do and do we really want to do this? Um, when we do this image, anything that was on there previously is overwritten. So you will have wanted to have grabbed any data that you don't want overwritten off this hard drive before we do this, off these partitions before we do this process. So I'll hit yes. Okay, and that was a small partition that ran pretty, ran pretty quick. Now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to restore the SDA2-Windows 7 uh, image onto the SDA2 partition and we type part image use our arrow key and go down to SDA2 we come over here to hit the tab key and we'll image file to user create that's at slash a slash win7 image slash SDA2 dash Windows 7 dot zero zero zero. That's the name of the first file in the sequence for the part image um, for the image that was created, the part image file. Okay. Then we go down to the we're going to do the restore, so we hit the tab key until we get to the in front of the restore partition from image file and then we hit the space bar. And we keep hitting the tab key. When we get to encrypt data uh, we hit space because we're not encrypting anything and then we hit next and it comes up with the, the description of um, what we called the image when we were creating it and then we hit OK everything on this screen again looks good we're going to tell it to wait after it's uh, finished restoring with an OK prompt so we can just hit the F5 key uh, the NTF, NTFS support is experimental. OK, we know that. And now we hit the tab key down to the OK button. The screen tells us what it's going to do when it uh, restores this image. Gives us a little bit of information. And then we hit OK. And do we really want to do this? And we hit yes to confirm. OK. Now, as you can see here, it's running uh, the restore and uh, it started like at an hour and it's already dropped down to like 30 some minutes um, so this is probably going to take somewhere in the neighborhood I'm, I'm guessing of uh, maybe 20 minutes so rather than have you sit here and wait I'm going to pause the video for a little bit and I'll be back as it finishes up okay here we are back and there's about 15 seconds left in the restore process and this is the uh, Windows 7 uh, the main part is being restored back to slash dev slash SDA2 and there's our OK button that says uh, we have successfully finished and we'll hit the enter key and that'll go away and then what's left to do now is uh, typically whenever I finish either creating a, an image or uh, restoring an image, I'd like to go back, hit CD, and get back to my 
uh, root home directory and then type umount and I'm going to type slash a uh, unmount that partition that you uh, the slash dev slash sda3 partition in fact we'll do this there you can see it's mounted at the bottom we'll type umount slash a and this will unmount that and if I type uh, df again it's not down there at the bottom anymore and that pretty much concludes this tutorial if you reboot your Windows 7 should be back to the state it was when you did the initial snapshot and what you did was you uh, restored the system, Windows 7 system partition and you restored the Windows 7 and now when you reboot back to where it was when you did the snapshot okay I hope this was helpful and um, uh, I wish you uh, the best of luck I'm gonna do a type in it six to reboot the laptop and uh, have a good day